All right. Uh, these pinheads on Capitol Hill. <clears throat> so they passed a COVID bill, but they would never have passed it if Christmas wasn't this week. They want to go home. So you'll remember that there was a bill passed in the spring that provided hundreds of, no, trillions. All right, the CARES Act, March 27th, provided $2 trillion in stimulus to help Americans through COVID. Well, now this is another one. It's another bill. So Democrats want another $2 trillion to add on to the $27 trillion. And Republicans said, no, we can't bankrupt the country. So $900 million is what we'll do. So Republicans won. They won. Democrats folded. They got the $900 billion. Here's where it goes, just so you know, okay? Just so you know. Direct payments of 600 bucks to every adult and child. So if you have 10 kids and your wife and you, that's 7200 okay? So the little urchins, they come in handy here. 600 bucks. that's what you get. All right, your small businesses, $284 billion. Now, I don't, I can't distribute the money. It's earmarked for that, but you know how chaotic that's going to be. $300 per week for enhanced unemployment insurance benefits. So you'll get more if you're looking for work. $25 billion for rental assistance and eviction moratorium extension. Okay. $82 billion for education. That's just money right out the window. Nothing's going to happen there. And 13 for supplemental nutritional assistance, food stamps, 13 billion. All right, so they divvied it up. Um, I don't disagree with any of that, except I know that, I don't know, third of it will be wasted, stolen. It always happens. There is uh, 20 billion for vaccine purchases and facilitation. And then there's 45 billion for transportation here in New York City, for example. Subways are falling apart, not just because of COVID, but because if you get down there, you can get your throat slit and nobody's going to protect you. That's New York City. The politicians go, oh, it's COVID. No, it's not COVID. It's that the law enforcement has collapsed in New York City. That's why they don't want to get down in subways. <sighs> U.S. Postal Service will get money. So I walk into the post office on Saturday, right? I want to buy two rolls of stamps. They only have one. They're out of stamps. I go to the post office, you don't have stamps. <laughs> they don't have stamps. I got the last stamps. I felt bad. All right. And this is Saturday. Six days before Christmas. They don't have stamps. So the post office needs to be privatized. It's a disaster. Not the people who work there. It's just, it's an obsolete business. Privatize it. Another $10 billion of the post office. And that's like lunch money. That's nothing. Um, the deal does not include liability for employers. The lawyers won. The lawyers can sue over COVID. So you walk into a pizza joint, buy some pizza, come out, get COVID. Four days later, you can sue the pizza joint. Nice, right? Isn't that nice? Lawyers want. Why? Because lawyers give tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars to the Democrat Party. And uh, Republicans folded on that. Hey, Bill O'Reilly here. As you all know, the dollar is at a 10-year low, and November could spell real trouble. That's why I recommend you consider physical gold and silver. And the only company I do business with in this area is American Hartford Gold. You can call them right now. Make sure you tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they'll give you a free gold coin on your first qualified order. Since I have been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold's up over 40%, silver over 60%. So please don't wait. Call them now, 877-444-GOLD-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. 